All right, welcome to Unbelievable Yoga with Jill. Let's start with our affirmation card. And it is, it's only a thought and a thought can be changed. So let's come to the top of our mats and let's come into our mountain pose. And as we come into mountain pose, let's always remind ourselves that we listen to our bodies. We go at our own pace in our own space. So please... Please, please modify anything that you need to. The important thing is that you are here. Uh, we're going to come into our breath. So let's ground our feet in our mountain pose. So in our mountain pose, let's make sure our feet are underneath our hips. And most importantly, I want you to open your chest and I want you to breathe deeply. Let's remind ourselves of that affirmation card. That is, it's only a thought, and a thought can be changed. So let's breathe and pause. These first few moments together are so, so important. It is the signal to our body. It's the message to our body that we're going to spend a little bit of time on our mats, breathing, caring, and loving our bodies. As always, Brenna is joining us this morning. A little bit earlier than normal. Usually she doesn't come in until I'm on the floor. On the... All right, now let's start with some gentle movement. Let's start with just a couple of deep breaths in. Let's pull all that breath in. And let's slowly pull it through part of the center. We're just going to do a couple breaths here like this. Big breath in, solid through the feet. I want you to really squeeze those glutes together. And now let's take a deep breath in and let's slowly go side to side. So let's listen to our bodies and as we feel those muscles start to loosen, that blood start to flow, we can slowly increase our range of motion. So today we're going to work our way all the way down. And now I want you to take a deep breath in, bring those palms together. We're going to roll through the upper back. I want you to drop your shoulders, press it out, take another deep breath in. And then press it out on the exhale. And another breath. All right, now let's flow through our chair. So let's take a deep breath in and exhale down the chair. Slowly inhaling, lifting the chest. Exhale. Now let's flow to the floor, right? Flow, flow through our swan dive down, flat back, gently listening to the body, listening to the hamstrings. We're all flexible in different ways in the hamstrings, inhaling up. So this is going to gently, lovingly warm up your back, work out in any tension. Pause and so take a deep breath in. I want you to stretch it out. We're going to reach one of our pause now. Now that we're warmed up a little bit, let's pause here. Remember, this is always a stretch up, release, gently come over. And now let's slowly switch sides. So nice, always slow with control. Reach it up.
I know, release the average, roll through the back in those pods. Let me remind you to drop the shoulders. I really, really, really want you to drop the shoulders down. Okay, pull the shoulders away from your ears. Sit out. Now inhaling, now let's come into our chair. Slowly exhaling down. Slow control, I'm gonna put my hands back our center. You are welcome to put them out to the side or extend them out with joy. Gently building strength in the legs and back. Push shoulder blades together. For building that posture, you're building strength in your upper back. So squeeze the shoulder blades together. Even squeeze your glutes, squeeze as much as you can. And now inhaling up. And now we're going to slowly come down to our forward fold. So pausing whatever works for you. Okay, don't push this. Don't make yourself go out of that upper zone. Pause. Now inhaling, reverse, swan dive, pulling the hands back through heart center. So big circles up, pulling the hands through heart center, all the way down, back to our mountain pose. And now what I want you to do in mountain pose, we're just gonna do some arm circles. I just want you to stand there, just do some gentle arm circles. This is going to increase the blood flow to your neck. To your traps, I get a lot of tension up through here. Okay, the part of this tension in my neck is just restrict the blood flow to the rest of the body. Okay, it's just not comfortable to have a tight neck. So let's do some nice big arm circles. All right, now let's go in the opposite direction. Whatever range of motion you have, whatever feels comfortable, you're loosening up those shoulder joints. So even here, be mindful, we're working this, but I want you to be mindful from here down as well. So that's solid through the feet, tight glutes, everything's tight. All right, let's come back to our mountain pose. And now let's step along the long edge of your mat. So let's step sideways together. I want your feet nice and wide and I want your toes turned out towards the four corner the four corners. I want it turned out to the corners of your mat. You're going to press in with the four corners of your feet. Okay, you're going to press your knees open slightly as best as you can. Big breath in. You always have nice big fingers. And when you are ready, you're going to exhale down. Inhale up. Now, as I come down, I'm trying to make sure that my knees are over my ankles. And as my inner thighs warm up and start to loosen up, I can sink a little bit deeper. Pinch those shoulder blades together. Let's do a couple more breaths here and then we're going to pause. So now let's come down and let's pause here in our moon pose. So building strength here, we're stretching out the hips. This is good for the back. We just pause and that's all we have to do. Body does the rest. Now let's inhale up nice and slow. And now let's return to the top of our mat. And let's take a deep breath in. Let's come down to our forward fold once again. And pausing wherever it works for you. Bend the knees. You can be up here. So when I injured my back, I was up here for, for most of our sessions together. And now I can get deeper into my forward fold. Big breath, back up. 
pulling my hands to the center. Nice, slow control that as I come down, I'm really trying to open up my chest as much as I can. And now let's come back out to our knee pose. Let's repeat this. Let's turn those toes out. Press those knees open a little bit for me. Inhaling up and slowly flowing through your breath, inhaling and exhaling. So as we come down, we slowly exhale. And then we slowly inhale up. Nice and gentle. And now let's come down and let's pause in that moon pose again. So I'm finding I can go a little bit deeper. There's a lot less tension in my inner thighs. So I can tell I've loosened up the tension through here. I've done some good. And now inhaling up nice and slow, returning to the top of our mat, and let's come back down to that forward fold. So inhaling up, nice, slow and control. I do like to do things in three, so we're going to go back to our moon pose after we pause here in our forward fold. And now inhaling up. And again, hands, heart center, pressing. Open the chest. Slow and control. I'm already starting to feel better. Movement makes us feel better. All right, so now let's come back out to that wonderful moon pose. Turn those toes out for me. Widen those feet. So even having nice wide feet, we're starting to improve our balance, strengthen our core, press those knees out, strengthen those inner thighs, inhaling up, and then slowly exhaling, pressing through the feet. You're training our body. Be balanced to be aware of itself in space. Just Essential thing we need to know. It's one of those things we lose as we age. Why do we lose it? Because we're not out playing on play equipment anymore. We're not doing all those things that we did as kids. All right, so when you're ready, let's come down on the exhale. And let's pause one more time here in moon pose. So press open the knees just a little bit more for me. Find that zone for that stretch for you here. And now inhaling up. And let's return to the top of our mat. Just take a moment here and pause. In case I said move those, I meant mount pose. Follow me along. <laughs> Come to mount pose. All right. So let's. Pause here in our mountain pose. Just a couple deep breaths here. And now let's take a big breath in. Let's come back down one more time to our forward fold. Exhaling down. Feels so good. So want to do something before you go to bed just take a few breaths come into a forward fold before you get into bed let's pause to breathe do a couple swan dives down warm up the back a little bit then pause release some of the tension from your back and then climb into bed for the night do it in the morning all right now let's place the hands on the mat Let's come back. Let's come down onto all fours. So hands underneath your shoulders. Fingers are always spread wide on our mats. Knees under the hips. Let's flow through our cat and cow. So we're going to roll into an angry cat. 
pressing through our fingertips. And we're going to lift into cat. And let's just let our neck, spine, tailbone, everything kind of flow together. And now let's press back into a child's pose, making any adjustments that we need to. And now let's inhale up onto our knees. We're going to come into our chest expansion. So a couple options for you here. Coming up on your knees, grabbing that beach ball behind you. I want you to drop your shoulders down for me. So pretend there's a big beach ball. You're holding onto that big beach ball, or you can place your hands on your back. And gently lift into a kneeling camel. Your choice, whatever feels the best. Go with that one. Try them both. So in both, we're always dropping our shoulders down. Always. And now let's release and let's come back down to our child's pose. And now let's come forward. Let's flow back through that cat and cow. So make sure as you flow through your cat and cow, we need to drive through those four muscles. That's where the power is coming from your cat and cow. I want you to squeeze your stomach. Pull it up and round it up. You are strengthening those deep pelvic muscles when you do that. So I want you to squeeze, lift low as you can make it and feel the strength that you're moving with building with every breath drive it up wonderful now let's go back into our child's pose we take a breath exhale it back sink it back let's pause here And now let's inhale up and let's come back into that chest expansion. So grab that beach ball behind you or coming into your kneeling camel. And now let's exhale down, sink it back, child pose once again. All right, my friend, let's come to a seated position. And then from here, let's extend one leg out. And yes, now that she just realized I'm on the floor. So here she comes. <laughs> Did you hear the word seated position? All right, so I have one leg out long. I have one foot tucked in, and then I'm gonna extend my leg out as long as I can. Brenna, they can't see me. All right, and we are going to windmill over. So my toes are pulled up towards my face. 
I'm opening my chest. I'm getting a nice little stretch. So it's all about the inner thighs. It's all about, you know, the side getting that nice stretch into the back. So come here, pause. Don't forget, keep those toes pulled up for me. And then if you open up your chest just a little bit, you're going to get a better stretch. Through your side, you're going to feel that little bit of a difference. Right, Brenna? Little things make a big difference, don't they? All right, now let's come forward. Now I want you to turn your shoulders towards that long leg. And then you're going to hinge from your hips and come forward. So I have that one knee tucked in here. And then you're going to hinge forward, bringing your chest towards that long leg. And then just pause what works for you. She really is my best friend, let me tell you. Aren't you, puppy? All right, so come on forward. Let's come back into that windmill. I want you to come, since we're here, let's do it one more time because it feels so good. So nice, gentle windmill. Open up the chest just a tiny, tiny bit. And now let's slowly windmill up. And let's switch sides. So tucking in that leg so you can see my leg coming in. Lengthen the, the other leg out. So I usually kind of scoot forward just a little bit to get a little bit of a better stretch in my inner thigh. And then you're going to slowly windmill. So sit nice and tall on your sit bones. Windmill over. I have to be careful because she likes to kind of flop on me and she's got, she's a big girl. She forgets she's a big girl. And it kind of hurts sometimes, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, so really stretch those fingertips over top of your toes. And again, open your chest just a little bit. All right, now let's windmill back up, turning the shoulders towards that long leg. Sitting super tall for me. See, now she's going to lay on me. Okay, Brenna. <laughs> so sit nice and tall and then hinge forward. Like, hello. And <laughs> bring your chest towards your leg. If you want to join us for, for yoga this morning. Bye. Great. So breathe and pause. All right, now come forward. And now you're going to come back to that side stretch. So big breath. Pull your hand over. Open your chest just a little bit. This is a new one for her. This this is a new one. All right, Brenna. All right, let's come on up and let's sit nice and tall. I'm not too sure how I'm going to get out of this, but all right, I want you guys to bring your feet together. And before we go into a few minutes with our breath and with our thoughts to, to finish our time together, I want you to just come into butterfly pose because it's an essential pose. Again, I want you to make sure that your hips are well and relaxed as best as we can. So I want you to bring your feet together. Come into your butterfly pose. So you can use blocks or cushions underneath your knees if you need an added support. Just come in. What's important here is that you sit tall on those sit bones, okay? Sit, lengthen the spine, don't slouch. Tall, strong posture. Sit super, super tall, and then we hinge from our hips with our breath. And it can just be a little tiny hinge forward, just enough to feel that little bit of tension in your hips, okay? We want to release that tension, and we do it when we get there and we pause. 
we breathe, we let it release, we let the body do what it knows to do, and then we come forward just a little bit more. Just pause and breathe together. All right, wonderful. So now what we're gonna do, I want you to come into your final relaxation. So you can sit, you can lay on your mat, you can do whatever you choose to do for the, these next few minutes. We're just going to be in our breath. We're just going to be in the moment. And in that moment, I want you to remember these words. It's only a thought and a thought can be changed. All right, my friends, let's finish again with these words. It's only a thought and a thought can be changed. We know the power of thoughts and the power of our thinking. And we know how we can be in these, these moments of strength and our own thoughts or the thoughts of someone else, the opinions of someone else can be debilitating and kind of change everything and take us to our knees. We need to remind ourselves that thoughts changed and we need to start with ourselves and to change you know but those negative paths of thinking that we all have and remind ourselves that when we're in those moments of feeling um you know frustrated or overwhelmed or whatever the situation is is that whatever those thoughts that we have we can change them and we do have the power over those um and you know that power you know that power in, in something just as powerful as music, how you can be having a, a horrible day and the right song can come on the radio and in a split second, in a moment, it can change your day. So tap into that power. We all have that power to change our thoughts. So let's finish with the words on the back of the affirmation card, which is, I am not limited by any past thinking. I choose my thoughts with care. I constantly have new insights and new ways of looking at my world. I am willing to change and grow. And everything that happens in our life, um, it is our choice. It's our choice on how we respond to things. And let's remind ourselves that it's only in God. So thank you so much for joining me for Unbelievable Yoga with Jill. Have a good day.